a grilled cheese with some cold chicken in there. All right, welcome to European Food Tour Part 2. We're not quite in Dublin yet, but we're in the airport, and I figured I have to get Nando's at some point. So we've got the butterfly chicken right there, as well as the Perry chips. So there's a little bit of seasoning on there. I'll give these a try first. I don't want to say they're basic, but I mean, it's just a chip or a french fry. And then we'll go ahead and try this. I put the, let's see, this is the Nando's Peri Peri sauce on there. So we're gonna have to give this a try. You're good, you can keep it out. The chicken's really dry. <laughs> It's not bad, it's just really dry. I will say, as far as I've seen this on other like European YouTubers, you want chicken and you want to go to a restaurant and get a healthier like bodybuilding style meal, this is the place to go. As you can see, we got like rice, broccoli. Um, yeah, so I mean, this is a place where you get healthier food, but also have it like be like fast. I will say chicken is like super dry, but this is what it is. Had to get nanas at least once while we're here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna dig in and I'll see you guys in Dublin. All right, surprise, we're not in Dublin yet. We just finished up the meal here at Nando's. I will say, although the chicken was very dry, there's not really any place like this in America where you can get like just chicken breast and either rice or something from a fast food restaurant. I think the closest thing we'd have is probably Chick-fil-A with Chipotle being like a close second as far as like a healthier fast food restaurant in America. But overall, wasn't bad. Um, definitely glad to have some protein back in the diet a little bit. And also, I think Nando's takes the cake for smallest water glasses. I think I've really taken shots out of cups this size. So Nando's, please get bigger water cups. All right, so first off, we've made it to Ireland, officially in Dublin. And yeah, so we are at Gr Grillo Lad. I honestly have no idea how to pronounce it. I even asked one of the ladies in there and she wasn't quite sure, but it's some sort of grill. And, but we got a chicken and some sort of like gravy mayo or something, but I'm gonna film out here and then go back inside to eat. But yeah, I mean, it looks really good, so let's go eat. All right, so I stepped outside because the music in here is definitely gonna be copyrighted, but I'll go ahead and show you guys what I got. Boom. So it's pretty much a grilled cheese with some cold chicken in there. It's absolutely delicious. And we got, we also got a brookie, which is, uh, looks like a, is this a brownie cookie? Yes. Yeah, what is a brookie? You ready, you ready, come, you ready come explain it? <laughs> All right, I can put it yourself. You're on camera. Spray. All right, and what's your name? Mihaela. Mihaela. Mihaela, right here, and she gave me a, what is this? So it's a brookie, so it's like cookie, caramel, brownie, and cookie. Yeah, it's like cookie. Okay, cookie, yeah, yeah. So there's two cookies in there, and then also we just got the basic chocolate so chip cookie. So nice, yeah, it's really good. Okay, so we've got these two, so we're gonna eat the, the main meal first, I'm gonna keep trying those. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion too, so Definitely I might be critical. Do. But Enjoy. We'll see. Thank you. <laughs> this might give my chicken quesadilla a run for its money. It's absolutely delicious. The bread is super crispy. You guys can see right there, like perfect toasting. Let's see. The bread is super crispy, perfect toasting to it. it. Tastes really good. This is their signature blend cheese, but yeah, so far so good. So I'll just hand it some more stuff. This is a Guinness mustard. So there's some Guinness syrup, um, whole grain, some other things in there. So we're gonna give this a try. We're from Ohio. We're from Ohio. 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 Oh, yeah, that's where you're doing now? Uh, that's where we're about to go, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done it before. You I've done it before. It's actually, I mean, it's one of these that it's a That's really good. Reminds me of a Dijon mustard. A little spicy, but really good. Final bite, yeah, absolutely delicious. I also got the um, gravy mayo on it, super sweet. Yeah. So Cannot complain, absolutely delicious first meal in Dublin. All right, now we're moving on to the brookie. It is, yeah, a brownie, cookie, all kinds of stuff. This looks absolutely delicious. As my grandma Gigi would say, 
That is extremely rich, but absolutely delicious. I'm gonna just do one bite. I didn't plan on having it. They actually gave it to me just to try, so super good. I'll hand some off to Nick and Charlie, and then we gotta try the cookie as well. Ooh, very crispy. My little brother Ben would love this. Yep, very crispy. Damn, that cookie's really good too. You can see it has like really big chocolate pieces in there. Alright, you guys want some of this? Yeah. Alright, I already got chocolate. You wanna try some? Yeah. They're both really, really good. Both desserts, absolutely fantastic. Also, one of the owners actually just stepped in and he's serving, I guess, um, some local bar guys, but he mentioned that they have food trucks as well as this one location right now. And they're opening up two more. Super friendly, give us recommendations about stuff to do in Dublin. Unfortunately, we have a very cramped schedule, so maybe we can try to fit something in. But yeah, feeling very welcome to Dublin right now with a delicious meal, some free dessert, and some recommendations on stuff to do. So otherwise, we have a Guinness tour next. I'll probably catch some clips of that. Um, obviously, first Guinness tasting in Dublin. Yeah, stay tuned for more food. All right, and we had absolutely fantastic service here. Thank you to Mihaela. Mihaela, um, that is crazy name, but absolutely amazing. And then, Enjoy. who's your coworker? Ifa. Ifa as well. So thank you guys so much. We'll be back, maybe. But thank you for the free dessert. <laughs>
This is a close second, I would say, as far as like the hearty meals and then the grilled cheese. I mean, it's a grilled cheese. It's pretty hard to mess up, but it was still really good. Um, otherwise, we're probably gonna head out, um, maybe having some dessert here. Talk to you guys post on that. All right, so yes, I did switch seats just to get a little bit more light and give you guys a different background. So we are on to dessert. This is a homemade apple crumble, which looks absolutely delicious with, I think, some cream. That's like a non-sweet whipped cream, I don't know, but also some sort of dipping sauce on the side. I don't know, we're gonna try this. And then Nick got the chocolate, I don't even know. Choc Death by chocolate cake. Death by chocolate cake with some ice cream on top. I'm sure I'll be trying some of that as well. Uh, but let's see how hot this is. Hopefully I can give you guys a taste test. Okay, that looks extremely warm. We're gonna blow on it and do a quick taste test. But yeah, it looks like an apple pie, apple crumble. Absolutely delicious. I'm not really sure what this is. Alright, that's some sort of sweet cream on the side. So I'm gonna dig into this, and if I try the chocolate, I'll let you guys know. Alright, we're on the last bite of the apple crumble. Absolutely delicious. But not as good as my anabolic apple fritter. Otherwise, we're gonna go ahead and try Nick's chocolate out. We got about two bites left. I mean, this looks absolutely delicious as well. So much chocolate. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. It's good, right? That is fantastic. So much chocolate. A little bit of ice cream. He's looking for somebody. Last bite of the day. Oops. That's gonna wrap up dinner and our last meal on night one in Dublin. We're gonna walk around Temple Street, see what else we can get into, but it's the last of the food. My camera's also about to die, so I'm gonna go ahead, check with you guys tomorrow with breakfast, and yeah, to see what we can get, but so far so good. Absolutely delicious dinner. Great lunch as well, grilled cheese, whatever that whole chicken thing was. Guinness tour, dinner, and yeah, we're gonna walk around Temple Street. This place is really cool. They got some live music going on, all that kind of stuff, so. Yeah, I'll see what we get into about checking with you guys tomorrow morning. All right, so we are at Do... Duany and Nesbitt, something like that, but we have an Irish breakfast right here. This is their quote unquote mini Irish breakfast. There are no black or white pudding. And we got our sausage, fried mushrooms, uh, two fried eggs, some bacon, hash brown, and beans. Looks an ab absolutely delicious. You can go ahead and say that. We're gonna dig in, it's the first meal of the day. Um, and yeah, kick things off, right? and that's a wrap on breakfast absolutely delicious i think this one actually might out edge the british breakfast as well we had the other day but super good um all in all we're gonna head to was it o'donohue's o'donohue's for some live music and drinks and then we'll probably have some food later we gotta do our check into our flight our covid test all that kind of stuff because we are flying home tomorrow but overall good breakfast we'll see you at the next meal all right real quick update we went to o'donohue's listen to some great music some proper Irish music and had some drinks. And then also we had to run back to the hotel because we needed to do COVID tests. Luckily, all three of us all tested negative, so we were clear to go back to America. Uh, knock on wood, or touch wood, as another person said here earlier, that it all goes smoothly. But now we're gonna head to a Jameson cocktail making class. Is that what it is? So cocktail making class, we've got that dinner. Um, probably have some gelato, and that's gonna wrap up our video. But yeah, after the Jameson cocktail making class, we're gonna go get some dinner, and I'll see you guys then. All right, so we just wrapped up the Jameson cocktail making class. Probably one of the most fun things we've done on this trip so far. I don't think I've ever made myself a proper cocktail in my entire life, so it was really cool. Uh, we had two different cocktails. One was a like play on a whiskey sour, but it was like a pear sour. Sorry, three cocktails. Uh, one was a pretty much a punch that he made at the beginning. We let ferment, I think is the proper word, um, throughout the entire process, and we made an old fashioned as well. Mine was not nearly as good as his was, but we tried our best. Now we are at uh, Oscar's Cafe and Bar. I got 10 ounce steak, uh, vegetable skewers, 
onion rings and chips or fries on the side. This looks absolutely delicious. Second meal of the day, we're doing two meals today. Um, so super excited for this, this looks absolutely delicious. And I will say, I'm a little disappointed, they only give us three onion rings, <laughs> but these look, I mean, absolutely magnificent. You guys can see that, I mean, probably some of the best onion rings I've ever seen in my entire life. So I'm gonna do a quick taste test of that. You guys can see that. It's a fantastic onion ring. Might be one of the best I've ever had, but we're gonna dig in the steak, and then we're probably gonna have another drink, and this is our, our last full meal in Dublin, which is kind of sad, but um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys after the meal. All right, just wrapped up our dinner at Oscar's Bar and Grill. Now we're gonna head over to Cobblestone, which is just across the way there, um, but I will say I am desperate to get home to some fruits and vegetables. This, the food here has been absolutely amazing, but there's not much in my diet, at least, what I've been ordering, not much fresh fruit or vegetables. Uh, the onion rings are absolutely phenomenal, so that was a little bit of vegetables. Probably one of the best onion rings I've ever had in my entire life, but they only gave us three. I wish I could have had 12. But regardless, we're gonna go have a couple drinks and then probably finish up with some gelato or some sort of dessert here in Ireland. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys then, but just one meal left, one little piece of dessert, and then we're gonna head home tomorrow. I'm kind of looking forward to getting back into routine, some more fresh fruits and vegetables, all that kind of good stuff. But yeah, let's go get some drinks. I'll see you guys at gelato. All right, so we have our ice cream here. Doesn't look like gelato, it looks like actually more like whole ice cream. All right, so we got chocolate and brownie here. It looks absolutely delicious in a classic waffle cone. The last meal in Dublin and Yep, ending on a high note. This is absolutely delicious. Like I said, it's really hard to mess up ice cream in my opinion. I'm a huge fan of just about any ice cream gelato, anything sweet that you can put into this form. So super happy with a good end to this trip in Dublin, but that's gonna wrap up the video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.